Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. So we've got an email from a reader who says, my 32 year old son is in ICU with a double pneumonia. He is having an infection, sepsis. He is having multi-organ failure and the intensive care team is painting a grim picture. He's been in ICU for one week now and there's no sign of improvement. And the ICU team is saying that he's probably going to die. Can you help me with this situation? Now, what you need to understand is if, one, if a patient is in intensive care for seven days with double pneumonia, sepsis, uh, and multiple organ failure, it's not a long time. And especially if your son is young, um, you know, you've got every reason to be optimistic. Now, the first thing that you need to understand is that uh, only about 10% of patients in intensive care actually don't survive. That means 90% of patients in intensive care do survive. So, and the younger a person is, the higher chances are that people do survive. So, you should be focusing on the positives here and not so much on the negatives. Now, intensive care teams are always pointing out the negatives and they're always painting doom and gloom pictures. And um, you shouldn't be concerned by that too much. You should be concerned about your son's situation, of course, but you you got to learn about intensive care and you got to learn about intensive care quickly. The biggest challenge for families in intensive care is simply that they don't know what they don't know. They don't know what questions to ask, they don't know what to look for, they don't know their rights, and they don't know how to manage doctors and nurses in intensive care. And that's what a lot of your question comes down to here, that you simply haven't been in a situation like that before. And, and that's a good thing that you haven't been in a situation like this before. But, you know, here uh, I can help you with, you know, putting perspective around this situation. You know, what does multiple organ failure mean? Does he have brain damage? Does he have heart failure? You know, is it the lungs that are failing? Obviously, with double pneumonia, is it the kidneys that are failing? If the lungs are failing, okay, he's on a ventilator. If the kidneys are failing, he can get on dialysis. So you've got to ask the right questions because, you know, he might be in kidney failure and they haven't even offered you dialysis, right? Again, it comes down to asking the right questions. And what does being negative mean? You know, what else is happening? Is he on inotropes? Is he on vasopressors? What sedation is he on? What do blood results show? What medications is he on? When someone is in intensive care, there's dozens of things happening simultaneously and you simply need to know what to look for and you simply need to put perspective around the case and not get bogged down by the negativity of the intensive care team. Intensive care teams will always be negative to manage expectations. You gotta get a second opinion, which is exactly what we can do here at intensivecarehotline.com. We can help you with insights, we can talk to the doctors directly, we can look at medical records and we can just simply explain things to you in words and in a language that you can understand. The intensive care teams put too much medical jargon around things and we can break things down for you in real terms so you can make sense of it. So that is my quick tip for today. If you have a loved one in intensive care, go to intensivecarehotline.com, call us on one of the numbers on the top of our website or send us an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com. Also, have a look at our membership for families in intensive care at intensivecaresupport.org. Um, we also provide medical record reviews for, for patients in intensive care or after intensive care. Please contact us if you want a medical record review. Also, like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and families, subscribe to my YouTube channel for regular updates and tips for families in intensive care, and give click the notification bell. Thanks for watching. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I will talk to you in a few days.